start secondly i suggest that the government should give a special incentives to industrial units for shifting from oil to coal from the consumption of oil to coal unfortunately what we find is that the government itself is going the other way regarding shifting from coal to oil recently the petroleum minister said that for fertilizer production they have shifted from lignite to coal sir i want to say a few words about the plan my point is that this budget which the honorable minister has presented is not quite in consonance with the strategy of the plan i will give two examples the one is the plan document says that the subsidy would be gradually reduced substantially reduced but in this very budget instead of reducing the subsidy we find the subsidies under all the heads have been increased if you want i will give you the figures instead of going towards meeting the program as enunciated in the plan we are going in the opposite direction the other point which has also been mentioned by my friends is about deficit financing what you have provided in the plan for deficit financing is rupees 5000 crores for a period of 5 years in the first 2 years we would have easily exhausted more than rupees 4000 crores living behind hardly rupees 1000 crores to cover the remaining period of 3 years not only the present finance minister but even his predecessor seem to have come to the conclusion that rupees 2000 crore of deficit every year is a reasonable and safe amount which our economy can absorb i think this is a very dangerous estimate or assessment that they have made with this deficit you can never control inflation in fact inflation will go on rising at some time in some weeks it may appear that there is fall in the consumer price index but if you examine it on a continuous basis you will find that the prices with this type of deficit financing can never come down sir there is a lot of wastage in our government expenditure government treats this plan expenditure as sacro sanction or a sacred cow there is corruption in plan spending also i would request the government to take care to economize wherever possible and see what can be done in this regard i would also mention that our plan projects are not properly implemented the plans are imaginative our programs are realistic and our projects are practical but their implementation is not only defective but positively poor last year i had given several examples of how the original estimates of different projects went away there is not a single project which has been implemented in the same cost estimates as originally prepared there are very very 
few which were implemented within the time originally stipulated i think there is enough a scope for the government to examine this thing and see what can be done i can give you examples of this stop